Alright. I finally come to the hold on, get some money. I finally come to the conclusion. Elon Musk sides with racist people. You know, if y'all look at some of the videos I had before, I was always saying like, man, he cool, like he ain't never just said nothing like racist or anything, like because the people like, oh, he racist, whatever, like that. And I was like, no, I ain't never heard him say anything crazy or anything. But sometimes it's what you don't say. Sometimes it's what you do say. Have you ever noticed anytime something goes on with black people, he has something to say? Man, I didn't even know he said something about Mike Brown with the hands up thing. And he has something to say. Now, remember, this is a non-white person, honestly. This is a person. He's a South African. He's not a white person. He's not a white person. His skin is, is pale. He is not a white person man in america he is a south african man in america but sometimes i think we forget that like or he not even european so my question is this though right why is it that he always has to put his little two cents in when it comes to black people affairs but i ain't seen him help not one black person in anything I've seen his company get sued for millions of dollars because a racist environment, a guy got to talk about, he was called the N-word and treated badly working for him, and he just didn't care. That's true. Look it up. Straight like that. But even after that, I'm thinking to myself, he the CEO, what he really know about what's going on inside the plant. But then I realized he hands on with everything. He's knowing people's names. He's in the plant. He's, he's sleeping there. He's being there. He knows exactly what's going on. And there were complaints. Okay. He talked about the Mike Brown thing. Okay. Then this Dilbert guy, y'all know I'm talking about the comic. I'm going to get to him in another video. This Dilbert guy saying stuff about black people, which I'm pretty sure he don't even have to deal with a black person or understand a black person ever. He can go 10 days without probably having to speak to a black person or being around a black person. But always, it's, he has an issue. He, something was wrong with black people. Well, I guess we get special privileges or i ain't never seen them I, I don't i don't know a black person who know these special privileges I, I don't i don't never even the rich people even the rich or richer the more money and and any, any elevated society whatever you want to call it i guess like they don't probably know what you're talking about they had to work hard like anything else because ain't nobody ever came to our house like oh yeah you black come on here's a here's a hundred thousand dollars i ain't never heard nobody say that but let's get back to elon musk though it's deciding with racist people that these people back on twitter that speak this terrible hateful speeches being friends with other racist people we ain't gonna talk about this guy can talk about a million things a million things he takes time on twitter to defend his friends you know you know how, this, this is this is how he hides his words listen he said, though I always don't agree with what my friends say, I have their back and support some and they out. Like, what? What part? Okay, so let me. I, did, can somebody ask him? You say you don't always agree with what your friends say. So, what parts do you agree with? T let's, let's do that. Do a Twitter poll on that. What parts do you agree with? Now, say that part. Since you don't always agree, okay, you understand. What parts you agree with? So I'm pretty sure you agree with the uh, black people part. The, the, excuse me, the black people part. See, it ain't funny. Like, and I ask myself, what is a person who got billions of dollars? Grew up in, hey, me, I'm a black person. Elon Musk is an African American. Hey, when you check these things, like the boxes when they had to like come over here in different countries and stuff like that, he has to check African American. He ain't can't check white. Uh, James, hey, my me, I'm in America. I was born in America. I don't have to have a green card or anything like that, right? But if I go to Africa or another country, I gotta have certain paperwork, right? Or if I ever move to a different country, I might or may not. I gotta have my stuff together, right? He has to have stuff. I don't. I was born in the state. He wasn't. Do you see what I'm saying like this? Like, so my, my, my question is this. Why is he always in people's states affairs when there's things going on in South Africa? There's things that's going on in the tech world. There's things that's going on in life. Like his daughter or, or 
what his daughter or look don't get me wrong i, I don't know about this stuff he got did his kiss his child identifies as something i don't know and i'm not about to be into that but he but just know this he has a the, the child sees how bad this person is don't want to be involved in his life this how it's this type of father this dude is type of guy who cheats on his wife scum of the earth type of guy you know what i'm saying though but he he worry about black people not his marital affairs he worried about he ain't worried about amber heard tell you that and somebody's wife that he's messing with when he's not supposed to but i but you know but i but you know nobody want to he he don't want to talk about that he wants to talk about black people because my ground hands up is important to him probably never even been to ferguson mississippi or missouri is it ferguson mississippi i'm not sure which one it is but i'm pretty sure it's one of he never even been there but got the nerve to want to speak on that hey when the last tweet he ever had about doing something good for black people or a black person doing something good when the last time he said something about NAACP or Black Lives Matter in a light, in a good way? Notice that. When has he ever done that? When has he ever gave any black person that, that did a good thing props? I mean, anytime a black person do something, and I can say anytime, but times when black but things going not his way and he don't like what black people doing, he got something to say about that. Have you noticed that? Have you noticed when it comes to racist people, he got their back, he got something to say, he come out the blue, he's 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 interested in it. Why? You ask yourself that question. And when I ask myself a question, I said, one thing Sherlock Holmes teach you, like Sherlock Holmes, I don't know if it's, a, it's like a cartoon or like a movie and stuff, people think it's funny. But he said something to me, I think it changed my life. He said, once you take out the unexplainable, you only have the explainable. Like it's like a Machiavellianism. Don't see what you want to see. See what's real. Take out what you think is possible, and take out what you know is possible, and you have your person. And you can have what you you can put your crime together. And the crime of this is this man is a racist. You know what I'm saying though? To me, like that's just my opinion. He says racist statements all the time, in a way that's just borderline not you can't really tell he's doing it but the way he do it he's very smart he's a genius he's a elon musk is i can't deny that like he's smart you know what i'm saying though period but being smart and he also disappointing because elon musk could have been something special to this world but now i see who he is like honestly i see who he is and i see that he's not a person to lead anybody like Unless you're, uh, you know, like, I don't know if you always felt that way, but now he wants to cater towards um, rich white people who has, who think they have uh, no privilege. He's a billionaire that everybody, that most people support black, white people all around the world. And he has everything you can think of, but somehow he thinks that uh, it's, He's doing something wrong and people are, are being mad at him from having white privilege and he's not even white. He's not white. Once again, he's not white. Elon Musk is not white. So like it's just like he, he wants to fall into that crowd because he wants to cater to those people who's actually racist. And he wants to let them know, hey, I'm with you guys. You're my friends. Let's be racist towards black people together. But I'm not gonna blatantly say it i'm gonna say i agree with certain things i agree with you but i'm gonna call you and tell you to i i agree with you off the record you know what i mean though like that, that type of stuff so like be aware of what people don't say like so me personally like it ain't gonna matter to him because <laughs> i mean he got billions of dollars and once again he's a very successful person don't get me wrong he's definitely somebody like who took who did who worked hard but i can't support it and i don't and i then since black people have so much privilege which i don't even know what and woke people and then like what who don't want to be woke if you want uh, my question is always say this the go watch every video if you don't want to be woke joe rogan and elon musk if you want to be sleep so it's okay to be sleep that's what i'm saying if you if you're not woke you sleep so be sleep they get mad at you for being woke but like hippies 
Hippie was woke. Like, what? What? Woke is the conscious of being conscious of the world. What's the big deal? But you know what woke means to these people? These woke people, they secretly mean these black people. Yeah, that's what they really mean. Because these woke people is really black people. But sometimes when white people say it, they just want to hide behind that. Oh, these woke people. But then, but, but those people like Joe Rogan, Elon Musk, they mean black people and, and people who talk about like uh, uh, homosexual is issues and stuff like that. That's woke people to them. Not the woke people trying to save the world and ozone layer and water and preservation and everything else and save the oceans. Those people are woke. But they're not talking about them. Let you say something about black people, black lives matter. You're woke. It's a, as, it's, as if it's a bad thing. Notice all the people who say something about woke people. I guarantee they got all the characteristics of the same person they talk about, like of the of the same same crowd that goes into that woke people banishing stuff. Look at them and tell me. I guarantee they resemble each other, and I guarantee they resemble each other in money, and looks, and ideology. So Elon Musk, he ain't gonna care for sure, but I I can never endorse it or buy anything from him. And um, I don't think a black person because we're privileged. So we don't want to ruin his money or ruin his legacy or ruin his brand by soiling it and buying stuff from him. And y'all should go with that.